today saw one of the biggest WAG wars in history reach its conclusion as Rebecca Vardy lost her W.A. Gotta Christie libel case against Colleen Rooney at London's High Court. The drama unfolded after Colleen, 36, claimed personal stories had been leaked to the press via Rebecca's Instagram account. Rebecca, 40, who is married to Leicester City striker Jamie Vardy, vehemently denied the claims, insisting a number of people had access to her Instagram. And after an epic nine-day trial back in May, the judge ruled in favor of Colleen, determining that the essence of her post was true. Of course though, it's not the first time things have got nasty between the wives and girlfriends of the UK's biggest football stars. Rebecca Vardy vs Colleen Rooney Rebecca was heavily pregnant with her daughter Olivia when Colleen levied her claims in October 2019. According to Colleen, she suspected someone with access to Rebecca's account was leaking stories and laid a trap by blocking everyone from seeing her Instagram updates bar Rebecca. Get the news you want straight to your inbox. Sign up for a mirror newsletter here. She then planted three fake stories which found their way to the media, leading Colleen to go public with her suspicions. For a few years now someone who I trusted to follow me on my personal Instagram account has been consistently informing the Sun newspaper of my private posts and stories, Colleen wrote. After a long time of trying to figure out who it could be, for various reasons, I had a suspicion. It's been tough keeping it to myself and not making any comment at all, especially when the stories have been leaked, however, I had to. Now I know for certain which account slash individual it's come from. I have saved and screenshotted all the original stories which clearly show just one person has viewed them. It's, Rebecca Vardy's account. Rebecca defended herself, explaining that numerous people had access to her account and asked why Colleen hadn't just called her to begin with. She tweeted, as I have just said to you on the phone, I wish you had called me if you thought this. I never speak to anyone about you as various journalists who have asked me to over the years can vouch for. If you thought this was happening you could have told me and I could have changed my passwords to see if it stopped. Over the years various people have had access to my Insta and just this week I found I was following people I didn't know and have never followed myself. I'm not being funny but I don't need the money, what would I gain from selling stories on you? I like you a lot Colleen and I'm so upset that you have chosen to do this, especially when I'm heavily pregnant. I'm disgusted that I'm even having to deny this. You should have called me the first time this happened. Rebecca Vardy vs Victoria Beckham Rebecca's ex-husband, footballer Luke Foster, branded her a Victoria Beckham wannabe. But despite her supposed aspirations, the WAG is no fan of Posh Spice, and once slammed VB for using her kids to promote brand Beckham. Speaking in December 2016 when it emerged that Cruz Beckham was releasing a Christmas single, Rebecca wrote in her OK column, I don't agree with allowing their 11-year-old son Cruz to have an Instagram and Twitter account. I know he's releasing a charity single, but it just encourages trolls. Their eldest son Brooklyn is releasing a book, too, she continued. There's no chance of Brand Beckham dying. There was no response for Victoria. Katie Price vs Victoria Beckham Katie Price and Victoria Beckham's spat was the stuff of Naughty's nastiness, with the two women slinging mud throughout the decade. They initially started out as friends, touring the country with Victoria's husband David and Katie's boyfriend Dane Bowers to promote Victoria's 2000 single, Out of My Mind. 
but the beef started cooking soon after when Katie got jealous over their collaboration and blamed hanging out with the Beckhams for her subsequent split from Dane, claiming it changed him. He used to say why can't we be like Victoria and David? Like the way they were in love, which I thought we were, she said. He just kept comparing everything. I think it went to his head that he worked for Victoria. He was always going away with her. What followed was years of barbs, with Katie accusing VB of being average. And the following year it got even more bitter when Katie claimed VB and her mate sang who let the dogs out at her in Manchester United's Players Lounge. Posh Spy supped the Andy by branding Katie Vile on national TV, before her nemesis sniped, she's got a great looking husband, a little boy, and all the money in the world. She hasn't got the looks, but you can't have everything. Posh was even accused of changing a flight after learning she'd be on the same plane as Katie, which elicited a rather cutting response from her rep. The spokesman told the Daily Star, Victoria doesn't get drawn into public tittle-tattle with anyone, let alone her. It's not her style. Danielle Lloyd vs Nicola McLean in 2017, things got seriously heated between Danielle Lloyd and former WAG Nicola McLean after the latter claimed on Celebrity Big Brother that she'd been at Danielle's 2012 wedding to Jamie O'Hara. Taking to Twitter, Danielle blasted, Nicola McLean was not at my wedding just to confirm. She tweeted. And if Nicola turned up in the night she was definitely a wedding crasher, she added. But after she left the CBB house, Nicola stood by her claims, insisting she'd been there for the first dance to a live performance by Damage, and even saw the Diamante and Kirsted Bentley Jamie gifted his bride. Yeah, it really lie about where I was on the evening of Danielle Lloyd and Jamie O'Hara's wedding. It need to lie about that, my life is that dull that it genuinely lie about being at a wedding, she sarcastically told the Daily Mail. You're Danielle Lloyd not F. King Beyonce. Victoria Beckham and Cheryl Cheryl Cole was upset when friend Victoria Beckham didn't contact her after husband Ashley was accused of having an affair with hairdresser Amy Walton in 2008, claims he denied. The two wags had become close during the 2006 World Cup, and Girls Aloud star Cheryl said she was surprised and disappointed that she didn't hear from Posh in the wake of the scandal. I mean, David's mum is friends with Ashley's mum, she, Victoria, was in my hotel room the whole time during the World Cup, we've had barbecues together, so I was quite shocked by that, she told Vogue. Victoria has never commented. Do you have a story to share? Email web features at trinitamirror.com.